Greetings. This is World University and Schools News and question and answer on Monday, June 13th, 2022. Uh, it's 10 a.m. in the San Francisco Bay Area, California, Pacific time. And this is an open question and answer conversation opportunity. So as we wait for uh, people to possibly join this conversation, I'd like to share a little news with you. Uh, the first uh, item I'd like to share with you has to do with uh, a research focus at World University and School on uh, potentially uh, aging reversal and longevity genetics. And in a realistic virtual earth for genetics and in one realistic virtual earth, uh, think Google Cloud, Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps and Earth and TensorFlow, artificial intelligence and Translate and realistic avatar bot, electronic medical records even. So little Pegman in Google Street View grows into your avatar bot electronic medical record, for example, or mine. And also at the cellular and molecular level. So this upcoming Thursday, there's a, an online talk, free open, uh, from the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine based in Oakland, California, uh, asking, can we turn the clock back onto aging with regard to both um, stroke, the medical condition, and heart disease? So this is uh, an interesting opportunity uh, for anyone to join in this. Check out CIRM News on Twitter. C-I-R-M-N-E-W-S for the joining details to hear this free online panel discussion or possibly even ask your questions. And where World University and School wants to explore further collaboration is in uh, potentially finding out how a Google Street View with Time Slider uh, environment at the cellular and molecular level too might uh, facilitate both aging reversal, genetic drug therapies emerging, as well as uh, longevity genetic drug therapies emerging as well. Um, We'll focus on this in monthly business meeting this upcoming Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time for an hour only, uh, which is open also and uh, Zoom recorded. So um, stay tuned for these developments. Uh, one of the interesting questions World University and School wants to ask is how could we in an iterating way, model uh, in, a, in a realistic virtual earth for genetics in Google Cloud at the cellular and molecular level levels, every single one of cells and molecules for uh, potentially uh, both FDA safety questions and also to uh, prevent side effects from drug therapies emerging, and possibly in an open targets um, sort of emerging framework. Uh, that's a Twitter feed as well, at O-P-E-N-T-A-R-G-E-T-S. Uh, tune into them. They're uh, on, they announced on Valentine's Day, uh, February 14th, 2022, that they were beginning to work with Pfizer uh, Pfizer has remarkable information technology capabilities, I would think, with regard to genetics and pharmaceuticals, and also um, 
remarkable research uh, capabilities into the biological, the physical, uh, with all kinds of pharmaceuticals and uh, potentially for uh, um, genetic drug therapies as well. Uh, item two is um, the momentous World University and School migration journey to Wikibase Cloud in Wikimedia's 300 languages, I think, is complete. And WUAS just received an email about this this morning. So Wikibase.cloud is, and you could think of it as the management software for Wikidata, structured knowledge database in 300 languages too, which uh, is partly accessible. So Wikidata is sort of a backend. Uh, Wikibase.cloud would be sort of in between the back end of Wikidata and the front end of, say, for example, MediaWiki, WUAS MediaWiki. And so uh, Wikibase and Wiki uh, data would be accessible knowledge wise, structured query language wise through the front end of um, WUAS MediaWiki and our academic subjects. Uh, for example, which you can teach to as Wiki, uh, and also our creative subjects. And uh, we have about 730 Wiki subject pages in English only so far, but we're seeking to facilitate these in all 200 countries' main and official languages as open Wiki schools, and where you could create your own new Wiki subject that would uh, potentially be additable to with CC4 OCW.MIT.edu courses and CC3 OIC.Yale.edu courses, uh, which could eventually also become available for credit. So in seeking to make these courses available for credit, World University and School is exploring um, developing them, potentially in a collaboration in one way or another with Google Education. So could Google Education, for example, uh, begin to adapt under the CC4 licensing, CC4OCW.MIT, dot edu courses and even in a, in an app uh, for a smartphone so could one take courses from for credit through a new app a new wuas application or program on one smartphone uh, that was created potentially by google education also and that was adapting uh, mit dot cc4ocw.mit.edu courses. One aspect of this from Google Education is the recently developed course uh, CS First with Google at World University and School Learning the Scratch Language. This course is also Creative Commons 4 licensed. So Anyone can potentially share the information on it for free, adapt the information in it, as well as, uh, but non-commercially. And in these regards, uh, World University and School is seeking to develop uh, another undergraduate class, matriculating September 1st, 2022. So in addition to one, the realistic virtual earth for genetics at World University and School IDEA, and the second news item, the momentous WS migration journey to Wikibase Cloud and Wikimedia is three languages, 300 languages, and possibly a Google education collaboration. Uh, three, um, Item three as a news item 
I'm very glad to say that uh, thank you to Larry Veland, uh, the Chief Financial Officer for World University and School for, again, the two WUAS financial reports for our two wings, um, the one nonprofit World University and School, which is a legal entity in California uh, for which World University and School has just sent in the first full length 199 form for the year 2019 to the California Franchise Tax Board uh, and a check for taxes and fees and to the WUAS Corporation, which is another legal entity in California, a for-profit general stock company in California, uh, which Larry sent the financial reports again for, and World University and School WUAS Corporation paid its first taxes of nearly $3,000 last November to the California Franchise Tax Board for the WS Corporation, uh, getting a kind of green light. It was for three years, 2018, 2019, 2020, uh, and has also paid taxes again for the WS Corporation for this past year, 2021, recently. So thanks to Larry for sending these two financial reports for these two legal entities, one World University and School, and to the WS Corporation. Larry has been doing this uh, so helpfully for many years now. Great to have our financial reports on solid firm ground. Uh, so the last item I'd like to share with you is that World University and School yesterday, or sorry, um, Scott McLeod, uh, Twitter, my Twitter, at S-C-O-T-T-M-A-C-L-E-O-D, uh, was retweet, was, uh, we received a, a, a Twitter post. I received a Twitter post from Professor Paul Anderson, a professor of George, at George Fox College University near Portland, Oregon, tweeting congratulations. And it, the tweet was also to Sidwell Friends School in the Washington DC area and its graduating class uh, that I think graduated maybe on Saturday, June 8th, recently, 2022. And this uh, tweet to Sidwell Friends, the Quaker School in uh, Washington DC, and to me is, a, is still a little bit of a mystery uh, what it signifies, but um, I'm wondering whether it could mean that work, world, university, and school might get a sizable undergraduate class of students from the Quaker Sidwell Friends graduation, graduating class out of Washington, DC, studying from their homes? And could it also mean uh, that Google for Education might help build out these WUAS courses, partly from cc4ocw.mit.edu, and also potentially for Volcano Mwende Evande in Cameroon, Africa and all for free to students degrees. So Mwende Ivande would be studying from home and so would the potential uh, Sidwell Friends graduated uh, alumni uh, would be studying from home, presumably in the Washington DC area. So as to create a significant cohort of students and Further, as the concluding uh, news aspect to this uh, recent tweet from Paul Anderson at George Fox University outside of Portland, Oregon, uh, as we seek to learn more what it means, uh, could World University and School also get resources from Washington, D.C.'s Department of Education, Washington DC is not a state in the United States of America's 50 states, uh, but it is a legal entity 
and uh, it does have a Department of Education. And or could World University and School get financial resources from the US federal government um, per student per year if we could matriculate a group of Sidwell Friends graduates September 1st. So reimbursement in a sense to World University and School on potentially a Google platform uh, for matriculating students per year per student. Is this a possibility? Is this a another significant development? Thank you, Professor Paul Anderson at George Fox University for tweeting congratulations to Sidwell Friends graduating class and World University in School. I suspect that uh, the graduating class at Sidwell Friends who might be interested in a free to students college education might also greatly appreciate a Google for Education designed undergraduate first year uh, developing ocw.mit.edu Creative Commons for open courseware courses. So that's the news for today. Uh, we'll meet again next week, which is uh, May, sorry, June 20th. Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, posting this uh, to a newly revived YouTube channel, different from two weeks ago. So go to youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. If you would like to see the recording for uh, today, June 13th, 2022, uh, WS news and question and answer. Uh, Twitter.com forward slash W O R L D U N I V A N D S C H is the Twitter feed. The academic press at WUAS is Twitter.com forward slash W U A S P R E S S. The email is meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. And World University and School would love to matriculate a whole class of Sidwell Friends graduates, Cameroon, uh, also Wende Evande in Cameroon, and so many others. If you're interested, if you know if people are interested in a free to students four year bachelor's degree online studying from home, even a WS home robotics track, uh, let, let us know, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. And until next week, um, open monthly business meetings this Saturday, June 18th at 9 a.m. if you might be interested in joining in. Uh, bye for now.